Good evening, internet strangers and friends. <laughs> Welcome to my very first video. So I'm super nervous, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm going to be doing a budget. This is my weekly uh, camp, basically my weekly recap that's going to come in. This is my very first budget. So we're just going to get real. So first of all, I pulled this from my box. Um, I have this. I've had this for a really long time. I got it from a fair. Um, there was a lady. She like basically sells these boxes with these really cute little knobs. And they have a whole bunch of scenes in them. So every year I go through them and then redo them. So I did them today because I pulled this. Fall seven times, stand up eight. Japanese proverb. So perfect for today because I have failed at least four times trying to record this. <laughs> so we're just going to go for it, right? So here's the first things first. I thought I was way more organized than I really am. So I thought I had my budget all together. So this is real life, guys, real life. I'm an accountant by trade. I count other people's money. I do other people's budgets. I actually manage multi-million dollar companies. And I sat down at mine today and said, I feel like the cobbler. You know, my dad used to tell me all the time, how come the cobbler's shoes are never done? Because they're taking care of everybody else's money, but not doing their own. So I think this is a great way to hold me accountable to our budget that we need to do. Um, I have actually probably chewed off all my fingernails at this point. I know you're probably like, ew. Um, but I have been so nervous about this to do this is unreal. So, um, my normal paycheck that comes in is $2,355.92. I have for years rolled itself ways like, so I have like $200 go here, $75 go here, $24 go here, $410 go here, $320 go there. Um, and then like a thousand goes into my bank account, right? That actually pays for all our bills every year or every month. I do have here, if you notice, I have a bingo week is what I call it because I have three paydays this week, this month. Um, typically I don't. So I call that my bonus bingo. Um, and so what happens is I started actually tracking my dividends. Um, if you don't know about the Mommy Trader over on YouTube, I highly recommend her channel. Very good. Actually, you can teach me one, one or two things, so that was good. Um, I started actually tracking my dividends every single day um, that I get in several one of my investing apps. Um, and then the other thing I was doing is tracking my match that I get from my company, um, this 102.11, um, that comes in because I actually contribute the minimum amount to them, um, which is the 102.11, and they match at 102.11. So I've been doing that for quite some time. So when I started into this, I was like, okay, we got this, we can do this, not a big deal. And I did my budget. Guys, this is a hot mess. I don't even know what to tell you. So, like my paycheck here, um, it looks like I paid some credit cards. I'm going to be paying some loan payments I knew that were coming up. Um, I had some other credit card debt I knew that I had to pay. My charity actually comes out automatically. Um, so that comes into my Chime account, which I set up years ago. And basically the money goes over there every single paycheck. And I figured it out so that it would just come out of there and I would pretty much set it and forget it. Um, so it just automatically comes out. I have uh, more money that goes in there and at the end of the year, then I make it one final donation to a charity of my choice or whoever I think needs it the most. Um, and then I have like Christmas always, $75. I work with Capital One bank accounts. So what I love about Capital One bank accounts, and I'll probably say this a million times on this channel, is that Capital One bank accounts will allow you to open as many as you want. Um, I think currently right now I have eight as it stands to date. I'll have to double check that again. 
but I have a Christmas one and a savings one. And then I have a six month one. I have a emergency fund savings one. I have a bike fund for my husband. And then I have my normal bank account. And then I have my investing bank account. Um, so a lot of those are all savings and they're all high yield savings accounts, but we'll go over that another day. I also have a fifth third bank and the fifth third bank is basically my husband's grocery money. So my husband does all the grocery shopping for us. Yes, I know sometimes people think that's a little weird, but he's the one that stays at home. So he does the grocery shopping. So he gets $200 every two weeks. And we usually stay within that budget as much as possible. With inflation lately, we haven't been able to stay within that budget. And I'm looking to increase it by about another $100 because we have had a third person come stay with us because of other reasons. But we are hopefully maybe increasing that soon. But I'll talk about that next week on our next week paycheck. Um, the other thing I have is I do have some funds. I'm super excited about these. This is my pantry fund. Um, this is my planner fund. And I have a rainy day fund. Now, I just started these, so I'm be doing those with my sinking funds on a different video. Um, I just haven't been able to do that. And then this is my 50 day, 52 week challenge, um, which is halfway done. And I've done a lot of them already, but we'll do the coloring in next time around. Um, the other thing is, is that I paid a lot of utilities this month. Um, as you can see here, I have, and some medical, and then our life insurance. It is very important to have life insurance, especially if um, one of you makes money and the other one doesn't. Um, because of the fact that I make money and my husband doesn't, I try to make, a, I actually have the life insurance on me in case something happens to me. Um, that way he's taken care of and he has a small life insurance policy on him that will help me bury him and that's about it. Um, and the reason I do that is because I know that I'm the one that's, I am the one that's actually working outside of the home. Um, the other thing is, is that I just, my car just died today. <laughs> so, not died, but I had a little a little ball joint go out so we had to have it towed um, so you'll see here all my extra savings this time around for my tracker is actually all going to that auto expense I have an emergency savings fund that's in my capital one that we're going to use for that particular um, for that particular event but it will be all good um, the other planner that I love using is my slip and sonder I don't know if any of you guys have done it. It's a self-care um, planner, and I use those. All, I use that in conjunction with my breakdown of my cash envelopes. So I am going to be holding myself accountable on this channel to basically say yes, for sure, all is well. Um, you know, with me, and I'm hoping that this will hold me accountable to an actual budget from each week that I can actually manage, um, which will be nice because of the cash stuffing. I love cash stuffing. Don't you guys love cash stuffing? Cash stuffing is so much fun. Um, whether or not you have 2500 750 I'm hoping that you guys can see the benefits of this of this paycheck stuffing, or I'm sorry, of paycheck budget tracker. Um, and hopefully as, as my channel grows and as we get, I get used to doing this because right now I'm super nervous and I'm doing it scared. Um, I think that as we do this and as I do this, that it'll get easier and I will be held accountable to you. So like, subscribe, hit the, hit the notification. You can be on this journey with me. This is ground floor, literally, um, to kind of do this YouTube thing that I've been kind of wanting to do for about five years. So here it is in the raw. We're just going to leave it like that. And everyone have a great night. Bye.